Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me today. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little more lip gloss on my lips. This is Fit Glow Lip Serums, and it is in Nude. I think you could see that. So I was watching um, a video that Lisa Lisa D1 did maybe a week ago, and it, it, it was, a, forgive me, I don't know the exact name of the video, um, something about how to cope or deal with haters. And we, I think, anyways, I have all been challenged with people not being so nice to us throughout the years. And I thought I would just tell you how I have evolved from really letting it just destroy me. From being a little girl um, in kindergarten, I can remember this one other little girl teasing me every single day. She would make fun of my hair. Every single day she had something negative to say to me. And it just, as a, you know, as a five-year-old, um, granted, they say kids can be mean, but at five years old, you know, I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why, why is this happening? Why, why are they picking on me? You know, made it so I didn't really want to go to school. And as I uh, progressed to get older and through my teen years, I didn't really have much of anybody saying anything negative about me. I, I hung out with one person and that was my dearest friend, Laura. We kind of were, you know, Laura and I were together all the time. And we went skipping through wherever party or whichever group and we just hung out with whomever, but we were always together. And then, of course, going on in life, you know, getting married, having kids, and then working. And I want to say my last job, which I was there for 17 years, um, was the hardest. Where people, and mainly women, you know, honestly, mainly women, um, could be so cruel. You know, talking talking to you um, at your face, and they're really sweet. And then they're like, "Did you see her? She thinks she's all that. Can you even believe it?" And um, or how about this? You know, most of you all know that I have fibromyalgia, and I live in chronic pain. And there were days that I simply couldn't go to work. And then there was this one lady who set up this thing where she would make bets on if. Um, I would be in or not that day and of course it always got back to me now you know that really hurt me it really did and I allowed it to hurt me it is something that I allowed in to my life to really really hurt me and when I started to grow and I don't I mean grow spiritually more spiritually becoming more involved with God and more involved with family and you know when my mother got sick and she couldn't communicate with words any longer you know we had this such a spiritual bond that we just communicated through our eyes you know I knew exactly what she needed when she needed it I grew so much at that time that, oh, well, I want to back step. So my time with my mother was precious to me. It was just precious to me. And I had left work early and I was going to have lunch with mama and we was, you know, sitting there with her and my, like I said, my time with my mama was precious. And all of a sudden, my, my phone rings, and it's work. And I'm like, well, you know, I guess I better answer it. And I did. <laughs> and it was this girl telling me that, oh, you aren't going to believe what so-and-so said about you. And I got so annoyed at that. And not at what so-and-so was saying about me. That this person thought it was so important to disrupt my time, my precious time with my mama, 
to call me and tell me something so trivial like that. That is when whew, 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 everything changed. Everything changed and nothing anybody could say about me could hurt me because uh, there was a show that, um, I don't remember the name of it, that Lisa had said and somebody had said something, you know, your hair it just looks funny. And that person said, so? I love that. I love that. Your face is too fat. So? Your dodo dodo is so so. So? What is it to you? And another thing somebody told me years ago, and it really resonates with me, what other people think about me is not my business. That's on them. You can think about whatever you want. It is your prerogative. It doesn't have to impact my life. And I, I just really, really wanted to do this because Lisa's video really, really touched me. And I don't understand people like that lady. Ooh, let's take a bet and see if Wendy's going to be in today. You know what? If I was there, you can guarantee that I was hurting anyway, and I was there. But if I wasn't there, you can guarantee that I was home for a reason. And why do you care? Why did... Oh, one more thing. My husband said to me, people talk about you because you are so interesting that, you know, their life is so boring, that your life is so interesting, it gives them something to talk about. And I'm like, thank you, honey. So don't let people's words affect you because so what so what how does what they think or what they say or anything how does that affect your life it doesn't it affects their life they're the ones that are dealing with any kind of negativity that is going on in their life people that have to pe bring people down below them normally are at a really low spot in their life so what we can do is rise above it and live our best life and pray for them. I, I don't know. I just felt, felt the, in my heart to share this. Lisa, I doubt you watch this, but if you do, you inspired me to share this. And thank you so much for everything that you have done to help us as a community to grow. I love you guys. Remember to get out there, share that beautiful smile. God gave it to us for a reason. It's because it's beautiful and it is meant to be shared. Love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.